Hi everyone, welcome to your inspiration for today. I'm Roseanne with Real Life Changes. And uh, if you see all these wires, just know I'm wearing my Healy. Um, that's what that is. And um, I'm gonna be talking today about happiness and unhappiness. And before I do that, I just wanted to put a little side note that lately I have been struggling with finding the right words for really, really simple things. And uh, so you might hear me doing a lot more uh, uh, trying to get my thoughts out, my concepts out, because uh, it can be about anything, even like simple household things. I am forgetting things and you would think that that would be something of a concern, which it can be. However, right now a lot of people are going through this. Um, and a lot of all different ages. So it's not an age thing. It's not a whatever thing. It is simply, I believe, my belief is it has a lot to do with the solar flares um, and CMEs and even perhaps still the eclipse energy that we are still processing through our physical bodies. So I just give you a little heads up in case I'm stumbling a lot more on my words today. So ha happiness versus unhappiness. Um, there's I've talked about this a lot uh, in the past, and it's about the fact that we actually create our reality, and therefore we're creating whether we are happy or unhappy. And a lot of people don't like that idea because it puts a lot of personal responsibility onto their shoulders, onto their lap, that they are the ones that are responsible for whether they are happy or not. And... Um, now, from a 3D perspective, and I'm talking about third dimension, um, you know, the, the real, the matrix, the, the, the basics of human existence, the, the polarity, um, you know, black versus white, it's sometimes challenging to fully comprehend these kinds of concepts. And I, I get that because especially I, I have people say, well, when something bad happens to you, it's not your fault that you're unhappy. And, and it's not about that. Bad things do happen. Um, but your reaction to them is what you do have full control over, even in that third dimension reality. Uh, because when bad things happen, there's often reasons for it from a higher perspective, but still at a third dimension reality, you can sit there and choose to see the silver lining, um, the lesson, <clears throat> you name it. There's, there's so many things that you can get from even bad experiences. That being said, if you're going to look at this, I highly recommend looking at it from a higher dimension. Fourth dimension, fifth dimension would be best. Uh, because you're going to be able to see more of the soul perspective in how you are creating your reality and therefore you are choosing happiness or unhappiness. And it comes from within. It's that inner power. It's that inner calm. It's that ability. I have my tower gardens going off. Apologies. That ability to find that neutral zone, that point of observing even your own personal situations from a neutral perspective. So see if you can, you know, a little bit of homework, write down the things that you're not happy with right now in your life and how can you shift the perspective on those to be happy about it. Uh, Find gratitude in there because that's a powerful one, as I've told you, or not told you, but I've shared with you many times. So a little thought for your Sunday. See what you think about that. And, um, you know, I, I've also just as a another side note, a lot of people say, well, this perspective that I'm sharing comes from a place of privilege. And whereas, yes, I feel very privileged and very blessed in so many things, um, it actually doesn't come from privilege. This is 
for absolutely everybody, no matter what you're going through. And there's um, wonderful people who have shared their experiences going through some really, really horrible life um, situations that have still been able to choose joy, choose happiness. And it does come down to that. Is Really, it is a choice. It's finding that. And you know what happens is with that energy, that expands and attracts more to be joyful, happy, and grateful about. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. If not, I'll blame it on the solar flares and um you know let me know in your comments and stuff if there's something that i could clarify more because it's a lot it's a big concept to try to put into a small small inspiration for your day um so let me know what you think about that talk to you later